What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. And what a surprise. Um, I predicted this as far back as a month ago when I talked about this Swiss vote. Um, I talked about the fact that it was not going to pass, and I also said pretty much expect the gold and silver prices to start dropping, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Um, not a major amount in gold right now. It's only down at roughly around fifteen dollars at eleven fifty-two. Uh, silver, as far as I saw before, uh, was down about seventy-eight cents. Now it's roughly around down sixty-seven cents, but still, that's a pretty big drop because it's now gone under fifteen and is at fourteen seventy-nine. So this does not surprise me. I know a lot of people that have been stacking for a long time. They get worried. Um, I don't know how many times I could say from my personal perspective um, that I don't worry about these things. This just gives more of an opportunity to be able to accumulate the precious metals. And like I've said before, it can only go down so far before it has to turn around. Now, that could take a little while, so you have to be patient. I'm not talking 20, 30 years. I'm talking maybe one, two, maybe five years. And in the grand scheme of things, that's not a long time to wait. I honestly, in my opinion, don't think it's going to be that long because this game can only be played for so long, and uh, I see it as a buying opportunity. Uh, I've always said that because I stack for the reasons of protection and insurance, so for me, price is not really an issue. I mean, if you spend $1,000 on home insurance or you spend $500 on home insurance or you spend $10,000 on home insurance, if it ends up, God forbid, your house burns down and you get back, let's say, $100,000 worth of premiums for whatever damage was caused, you're not really going to care how much you paid for it. So that's kind of how I look at things. Now, of course, that doesn't guarantee anything. This is my own opinion, my own personal preference. You follow what you believe is, is going to be the best case scenario for you. So for me, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to see because usually these kind of prices – Expect to see another drop when the uh, U.S. market opens on Monday morning. So to me, you do what you think is right. I think I personally, I'm going to wait a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to stay this way for, for too long because, you know, you're getting very close to the point of how much it's going to cost for miners to be able to mine these materials. Because remember, guys, they have to actually pay people to dig. They have to buy fuel, even though the price has gone down, you know. There's still a lot of energy costs. There's insurance. There's taxes. They have to dig miles underground. So this is not something where they could just scoop it off the ground and just say, oh, here's a silver or gold coin. You know, there's a process that requires money. So the lower it goes, the less chance that there are going to be mining companies that can survive this, which means eventually it's going to get down low enough to where some are going to shut down waiting. Because if you want to mine and you see – the profit margin lowering and lowering to the point where it could go negative, are you going to continue to sell your product or are you going to hold on to it? Because this is not like um, milk. It doesn't expire. It's not any kind of food. It's not going to go bad. Precious metals can stay in the earth for millennia. So it really doesn't matter if you have to hold on to it, but it's not very cost efficient at a certain point. So we're getting to that point. I really think that pinball machine where you're pulling back is getting close. I don't know if we're there yet. I've actually said this. So I'm going to wait a little bit and see what goes on. I'm going to add more to my stack. You could do so now if you think that a lot of people are going to go run to the coin stores and start buying more precious metals. Because remember, guys. These prices are being affected by paper manipulation. It's not backed by the gold or silver you think it is, especially not a one-on-one -on -one ratio. So eventually that game is going to be called because in any poker game, you can bluff all you want. Eventually you're going to get called. And if you're bluffing with a garbage hand, you're not going to win. So the, the idea is they're going to bluff as many times as they can until they can no longer get away with it. Once they get, once they no longer get away with it or they're found to be cheating, game is over. So think of it as a, as a game of cards where you're playing, you know, five card, whatever with your friends and a person's bluffing and you don't know it and he's cheating and you don't know it because you don't call him on his bluff. Well, it's going to keep winning. But if you end up calling his bluff and he ends up putting his cards down and you find out he's got, you know, five pairs of twos, well, and you find out he's cheating, guess what? He's not playing anymore and you're probably going to get all your money back. So 
As far as I'm concerned, I'm not worried about this. I saw this coming. I warned people about this a month ago. I was telling people what I predicted was going to happen. It's it's very easy to see at this point. So where you go from here is up to you. Um, don't base everything that you do based on fear. Definitely don't base it on what everybody else says. You could formulate your opinions by listening to many people, but you decide ultimately what you do and don't do. But I, the only thing I could recommend is don't base any th decision based on fear because you see what fear does. It controls people and the people at the top love to control the masses so they can profit off of you. So I'm going to continue stacking my physical medals. I'm not worried about participating in a fake paper game and it's not going to last forever. How long it takes? Depends on the, the masses of the people. If they want to stay asleep, it's going to continue to take longer and longer. If there are people that want to continue to profit in the paper game, it's going to continue longer and longer. If people finally decide this is where we put an end to it, there's going to be a lot of happy faces out there in the long run. So I guess it depends on the people. So it's going to take time, but it's going to happen eventually. And that's my opinion, and that's all it is. So if you don't agree with my opinion, I, I can respect that. Just don't bash somebody for having their opinion, just like you're allowed to have yours. Uh, if you want to disagree, please feel free to do so. Just do it respectfully, because that's what I want here on this channel. I don't want everybody to just necessarily agree with what I say, but I want people to understand that this is a place where we can help educate each other and talk with one another. And even if we don't agree, we can try and learn and that's what I want here. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave your comments. Please share, like, favor, post it on your social networks. Help my channel grow. Um, I need your help by just doing the simple thing of posting it on your social networks. I really appreciate it. Right now, I'm at over 10,400 subscribers. So just a couple of uh, days ago, less than a week or so ago, I was at 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost at uh, 10,500 already. So it's growing. People are really starting to care, and that's what I like to hear. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your comments, and don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. This is Barnon11970 saying have a good night. Peace.